In this video, we will discuss how you can extract the ligand binding pocket of any protein molecule. For that, you need a protein molecule and you need a ligand molecule bound to that protein molecule. We will take the example of last R protein and by using that specific example, I'm going to show you how you can extract the information of all the residues that are present close to that ligand. I hope this lecture is going to help you to understand how you can extract the information, important information of the ligand uh, binding pocket using PIMO. Before we jump on the lecture part, if you like the video, then please hit the like button. If you like the content of the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. All right, today I'm going to show you how you can extract the information of the residues that are present in the ligand binding pocket. I hope now you are well aware of the fact that there are amino acids in the protein when there is a molecule that is bound to a specific protein molecule, it is bound to those amino acids. That, that is what I'm referring here, the residues. So how you can extract that information using PIMOL? Because you want to know what are the residues that are present close to the ligand. It is really important when you're trying to understand or compare the effect of any drug molecule on the protein structure. You want to know where is the ligand binding pocket, right? So I'm going to take the example of this particular molecule here, which is LAS R molecule. This protein molecule is the receptor for a quorum sensing signal molecule. We'll not go into the detail of quorum sensing here, but I do want to mention that Pseudomonas aeruginosa utilizes quorum sensing to regulate the function of various genes. So to understand where the ligand is bound, what are the amino acids that are present in the close proximity of that ligand, what we need to do is export this structure to the PyMole software. Before that, I do want to mention the publication for this particular structure. Here is the publication. If you are using this particular structure, you should always refer the publication. As you can see here, this is the name of the article, and these are the authors for this particular structure. Now, the next thing what we need to do is note down this particular PDB ID. You can directly download from here, right? You can also use PyMol software. That is what I'm going to use to export the structure by using fetch command. So you will type F-E-T-C-H and then you will type the code. After that, press enter and the structure will get imported into the Py PyMol software. As you can see here, you have four chains. Let me show you by changing the color. So you'll go to the color and by chain you can you can color all the chains so you can change you can see there are four chains and they are identical basically it's a tetrameric molecule so I'm going to delete three chains and I'm going to process only one single chain. And after that, I'll show you where the ligand molecule is bound. In all these chains, you can see there is, I'm sure you can see there is a ligand molecule that is bound very close to the center of the protein molecule. Maybe, let's just first refine the structure. So you can see these red plus signs, they are water molecules. So let's remove the water molecules first, first by going to A, remove waters. So you can see here, now we have removed the water molecules. Now we need to remove the chains and just process a single chain, right? For that, you will go to this particular panel, which is right here, where you can select by residues, you can select by chains. Then you will click on the chains that you want to delete. After selecting those chains, what you can do is remove atoms. 
Now, as you can see, you have selected the protein molecules. The ligand molecules are still there because you haven't selected the ligand molecules. Now, doing the same thing, you can you can just click on these ligand molecules and go to A, go to selection, go to A, remove atoms. Now, you can see here that I have refined this structure. Now, I have one single ligand molecule and one single protein molecule. Okay, so to highlight the ligand molecule, I want to change the color of the ligand molecule. How you can do that? By just selecting the ligand molecule and you can go to C color by elements and then you can select any color that you want to use. Here I'm using cyan for the carbon backbone so you can now clearly see the ligand molecule. Right, and I'm sure you are fully aware, aware of the fact that this protein is represented as a cartoon. So this is our ligand molecule and in the center you can see, not exactly in the center, but I can say that it's a ligand binding pocket very close to the center. You can see that there is a ligand molecule bound. Now I want to know or the extract the information of the residues that are close to this ligand molecule. How I can do that? First I need to select the ligand molecule. Now after selecting the ligand molecule, let's rename this molecule. So rename selection, okay. After pressing rename selection, you need to change the name of the ligand. So in this case, I, I'm just going to say ligand molecule and press enter. Now you'll see that there is another tab that is open here. Okay, It's important because you need to mention that uh, when you're using that particular command, to extract the information, you need to mention what is the ligand molecule that you are using to extract the information of the residues. That is why we extracted this ligand separately, right? Now, what you need to do is hide the this particular uh, receptor protein so that you can only see the uh, residues. And for that, what you can do, you can go to the structure, you can go to H and then uh, H means hide. You can hide cartoon. So you can see now, I can't see the cartoon representation of the residues, right? Okay, now I'm going to use that specific command. To extract the information, this is what I'm going to use, okay? I will repeat this particular command which is show sticks so all the residues that are present close to this ligand and the distance close means I'm going to tell you what is the distance that I'm using here close to the ligand they will be represented as sticks so show sticks comma then I have basically show space sticks comma space by res all within five of ligand all within five means within five angstrom you can also change it to three angstrom distance and now if you want to get the information of these ligands what you can do is go to the s now in the s you can see the sequence by pressing the s you can see the sequence and when you click on particular residue in this case the the chain is selected so we need to change this to residue and now you can see I'm changing to atoms then residue and then you can click here that particular residue will get highlighted in the sequence and the same thing you can do by just clicking on these residues as you can see clearly here they are getting highlighted in the sequence so you'll know that what is the number and what is the name of the residue another important information that we need to extract from this is uh, the the residues that are forming polar contact with the ligand molecules right for that what you need to do is just select the ligand go to SELE tab go to A then you go to find polar contact to any other atom so when you press any other atom you will see a yellow dotted line will appear and it will show you that what are the residues that are forming polar contact with the ligand molecule. So you can see here 
there are residues and now what you can do is you can basically hide all the other residues if you don't want to show them in your final pi mole figure you can do that you can just but you can just select these molecules and just go to etch hide everything and only represent those residues that are forming polar contact right so you can clearly see this is really useful information that you can extract from pi mole and this command is really useful uh, the particular command that i showed you i can show you again show sticks show space sticks comma virus space all space within space 5 space off space ligand so it's really important that you consider the commas and space while you are providing any command to the pymol software right you can write this command and every time you want to extract the information of the ligand just rename the ligand molecule and then extract the information it is really important because when you compare your docking poses when you compare the structures you need to extract that information and we can further process this structure to make really amazing pymol figures but i'm not going to go into the details of making pymol figures here but in future maybe i'll try to do that i hope this uh, information was useful for you i don't want to make this video too long so i hope this information was useful for you in the next video i'm going to show you how you can label these residues separately so that the information appears right here in this in this particular uh, figure you don't have to extract the information from the sequence although i have shown you how you can do that right when you select these basically these uh, these residues you can label them so that is what i'm going to show you and then i'm i'm going to also show you how you can change the setting setting of the label so that you can change the size you can change the appearance of the label so that they look really good in your final figure all right so i hope this video was informative and uh, provides you a lot of good information regarding the use of pymol software to extract the information of the ligand binding pocket.